Uh, Owen Wilson's Tesla on blocks after 4,000 worth of rims and tires were stolen off the $100,000 vehicle parked outside his Los Angeles home. Hollywood actor Owen Wilson was a victim of a robbery last month. The 53-year-old had rims and tires stolen off his Tesla. It was parked outside of his Santa Monica, California mansion. Uh, the cost around four G's, Santa Monica. So I guess he's on the street, street parking, no gate. I would guess. But also sentry mode off. Why would you do that? Why was it off? How do you know it was off? Well, I mean, <laughs> it might be on. Did he press charges? He oh, might have been God. busy. He couldn't respond to the uh, updates about the. The notifications of the rims being extracted, or he would he? Acting. Would you even confront if you're Owen Wilson? You're not going to come. What are you going to run out? Hey there, hey there, youngsters! I'll call the cops. Okay, but how quickly are they going to respond? Cops in Santa Monica, they're like, let them have it. Well, that was a joke, by the way. <laughs> you yeah. tell them that you're Owen Wilson. That was that was a joke, by the way. No, <laughs> but I, but, but 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 you know, but it takes a while. I don't know the last time you've been over there, or... Santa Monica, Venice. I don't know the last time you've been over there. Yeah. It's a different story. A little bit of a different story. But anyway, you want to show the photo here? Yikes. Yeah. Jeez. Ooh, what is it propped up by? Uh, milk crates, by the looks of it. Yeah, it does look like milk crates. Maybe four milk crates. How yeah. long? How long does it take to do this? Oh, no, they come with the power tools. Yeah, like F1. Like F1, they're F1. It's just kind of... It's yeah, They are the F1 team, actually. <laughs> right. From Red Bull. Got it. And They need the four grand. Uh, this is... They do... This is their part-time job on the side. As they of Tuesday, no arrests part. have been made in the case. Authorities were checking security cameras. Theft came as crime has spiked in Los Angeles in recent years. In 2021, the Los Angeles Police Department... And County Sheriff's Department reported a total of 39,894 stolen vehicles compared wow. to 34,000 in 2020. So a big increase there, 17% surge. And of course, that's vehicles being stolen, not the stealing of... That's, a, that's, a, loud that's a loud chopper. There's a helicopter landing somewhere nearby and the fact that we can hear it this deep be yeah. below the earth's surface <laughs> <laughs> you had me there. that is a military helicopter <laughs> i would say uh to say the least uh wilson okay so anyway yeah there's a it's not just it's not just stealing cars completely you've also got break breaking into cars and stealing things and then you've got just taking the rims and tires which one would you guys go for you walk out of your house in Santa Monica. Got Here it. are your three options. Okay. Car is completely gone. Car is there. Rims and tires are gone. Window is smashed and the car is emptied out and all over the street. Which one do you want? A, B, oh. or C? Well, definitely not A. Yeah, not A. Definitely not A. Um, window smash. Window smash. Take everything inside. I mean, don't do this, but... That's the one I'm going for. Car can still get me to A and B with a window smash. I guess it depends what's in my vehicle. Mm, per, per, I might personal. have to choose B. Personal. Yeah. Gets too personal. Uh -huh. They're they're reading all your documents. Right. And oh, yeah, I guess you could find out. Touching all your things. Address? Touching your Definitely things. Definitely address. Yeah. So, Will, you want the rims and tires gone. Mo wants the smashed window personal, uh, per person, personality. Personality. Personnel. <laughs> <laughs> All my stuff. But I don't keep the a lot of stuff. Personal information breach. You're going yeah, for that. I didn't really think about that, but, yeah, I think I'd still go that way. Mm. What, if, what if your laptop was in the car? Nee, 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 what about Kovu's nee, in the car? Nee, Kovu's in the car? Nee, nee. I don't, I wouldn't leave those things in there. That was a test. <laughs> those things. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay. All right. Enough of all this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, That's uh, whatever. Owen sucks. Wilson. Sucks for him. He has privacy because he has the, the uh, big 
what is that hedge in the front? He has a big hedge there, but I guess he doesn't have much parking space. He's parking on the road, mm-hmm. and that's com- pretty common over there, Santa Monica and uh, and uh, Venice. Very cool, cool place, nice place, but also a little, a little rough around the edges in certain scenarios with, with the theft. This was a little too much on the theft. Sure, it's very. Um, uh, it's tough to live your life with the theft going on. It's no good. You try to go about your day. You got stress going on. Can really put you over the top with the theft. Mm-hmm. Can 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 really give you a negative outlook. Yeah. With the theft going on, I remember the famous exchange between Casey Neistat and Seth Rogen. Do you remember that exchange? Uh-huh. Yeah. He was pissed. He's like, they, they stole all the. Um. Uh, decorations for my daughter's birthday right. for tonight yeah and seth rogan's like dude i got a little treat last time somebody broke into my he dropped a pocket knife <laughs> really that what he said he, he was he was like i lived here for years you just put up with it it's just part of it like take it easy hmm. um take it easy millionaire like type of Whoa. that was the sentiment very bizarre he why was would like, you take that he was stance? like put yourself in the shoes of the thief what? <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Well, Mo's very upset. I feel like you should find this exchange real quick because he didn't see this before. That's uh, so nutty. Give him, give Mo just a little glimpse into it. And of course, it's like many things in life, Mo. It's not all of one or the other. It I seems know. very simple. It's yeah. not all one or one or the other. No. But th- there were people, du- dude, I've lived here for over. Oh, I thought Casey maybe deleted. But anyway, he got very upset about L.A. in general. He kind of lambasted the whole city, which you got to be careful with this because mm. any city, it's a complex makeup of a variety of individuals. And people love the city they live in. Well, it, but it's also just not accurate. You can't right, yeah. condemn. And, and a lot of people in social media and in media in general, they like to do that because it's a really easy way to categorize. And mm-hmm. it's quicker to just say, this is what it is. It's just the way humans are. But in reality, it any place is uh, ha- has good things and bad things about it. And, and good moments and bad moments. And every person has good moments and bad moments. And every person does good things and bad things. Every single person, Mo. Anyway, go back to the exchange for a second, Will. I know you're uh, on to something else here. But uh, our cars got robbed is what Casey says. And then Seth Rogen replies, dude, I've lived here for 20 years. You're nuts. It's lovely here. Don't leave anything valuable in your car. It's called living in a big city. So dis- dismissive. Mm-hmm. Go down a little further in this thread, Will, if you don't mind. And then DeFranco goes, is eating popcorn, basically. I can still be mad, though, right? <laughs> I feel so violated is Casey's reply. Now, maybe just click on his reply so that you see. Um, This was all well documented. You have to click on... Casey's reply. Right there? Down? Yep. Click on it. There you go. Or not. Mm. There it is. You can be mad, but I guess I don't personally view my car as an extension of myself, and I've never really felt violated any of the 15 or so times my car's broken into. Once a guy accidentally left a cool knife in my car. So if it keeps happening, you might get a little treat. Wow. Wow. And a lot of people had takes on this. Like, wait a sec. To, to what extent is this? <laughs> he goes, I didn't get any treats. He just took the decorations <laughs> for my daughter's seventh birthday party and left bloody handprints. Yeah. It's, 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 it's crazy, but it it does represent... The variety of philosophies that are out there. You have people. Go ahead, Mo. Go ahead. His reasoning is that he's dealing with it, so you should deal with it. His reasoning is that it is worth it to put up with that, to be in these types of places. Hmm. The best places have these kinds of downsides associated with them. And you don't want to live somewhere that doesn't have these elements because... Otherwise, I guess it's too homogenous or uh, not interesting or you don't have little treats left in your car. But how many of 
you guys got <laughs> carjacked 15 times by the in way Toronto. But, well not car carjacked is a different story or Just, car broken into, into yeah. 15 times. Carjacked is a little different because he's he goes on to say, I don't see my car as an extension of myself. In other words, implying that like it's a less of a violation than maybe being robbed at gunpoint or something. But for me, that gap is not that major. It's really not. Because once you've taken another person's things and it's been somewhat normalized, th those stages of infringing on somebody else mm -hmm. it gets slimmer and slimmer easier to bridge right. that gap yeah. and then next thing you know you're like well i took your stuff before out of your car by smashing your window now maybe mm -hmm. uh next i might when when that dries up i might try something else yeah uh, outside the spectrum of what is what we all consider to be legal or moral or otherwise yeah but, but you, you want to say something i know it's a difficult topic Okay, what I'll say is... But you want to say something. Seth Rogen, all he did was sell me on how I'm not moving to L.A. Wow. That's what he did. He didn't show me how amazing L.A. is, and he puts up with the 15 times being robbed or whatever. My God, I don't want that to happen once in my life. Cool city, though. Mm, not worth it. Yeah. Not worth it. I agree. I think that there's another element, too, which is also children. Which it was a realization, which is a huge point in his, that, which is a realization that I had, you know, after I had kids, all of a sudden the, the image was a little bit different because it was like, I can sign myself up mm -hmm. for a certain amount of risk sure, easier than I can others. Of course. It's much harder when, if you see something unpredictable or chaotic happen, particularly something that's outside the realm of what we as a society consider to be acceptable uh then without reacting or responding to it or making an alteration just simply accepting it means that in a way you're submitting also this other these other people who rely mm -hmm. on you to make mm -hmm. decisions for them and so you because i you can experience that in any big city for the record and i of did course. experience experience it when living in toronto but it definitely doesn't enhance the experience. It's not about treats or anything else like that. No. There's no enhancement. And I mean, I'd be curious in Seth Rogen's situation why he no longer lives in Hollywood. He would say, well, I lived in West Hollywood and it happened 20 times. Mm -hmm. It's almost once a year. Like, <laughs> it's so mm -hmm. But I also agree that you also, you have much bigger picture problems that people feel the need that, or, or that this becomes a method of survival. That's another piece. That's the other piece that I think he was trying to get at. Right. Like, that like, dude, you're doing, dude, you're doing pretty well. You lost your decorations and it's a big mismatch of communication that's happening. And that happens all the time on Twitter. Yes. Cause everyone's snarky. On it's Twitter. And, well, words are going like this. They're completely missing. It's like, <clears throat> like mm -hmm. going over top and below and there's no mm -hmm. connection. Yeah. And in, in real life, when there is a connection and reasoning involved and you can probably articulate both sides of this conversation better Exactly. Than what's happening in that Twitter exchange. It all mm -hmm. feels so blunt and out of control. Yeah.